Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Welcome back. It has been a busy day here in the weather department. Thankfully, the worst of it does look to be over, but we are still watching out for a couple of things. Let me jump out to radar. I'll show you. First of all, you can see that little shower in Williamsport. That's one of the things causing the trouble. That and the fact that we did see a lot of rain that has resulted in some flash flood warnings. Now we did have one in Luzerne County that is now canceled. Nonetheless, plenty of reports of damage. You can see our little house here and a couple more in this area up closer to Lackawanna County. Those are all reports of flooding of water over the roadways. Very good example again, Carbon and Monroe counties. Those are the two counties that still have that flash flood warning in place. It's in place until 915 tonight, so we still have a couple hours to go. We're looking out for small creeks and streams for areas that have a lot of runoff becoming a problem. So you do want to stay vigilant if you do live in either of those two counties. Now here's a picture out of Schuylkill County. This is from specifically Schuylkill Haven. Sue sent this in. Look at all that water. I mean, again, this is just an example of what we've been seeing live. Lots of storm reports over the last two days. You just want to stay safe out there. You can see in Wilkesbury doesn't look too pretty quite yet. Still a very ominous sky, very gray, lots of cumulonimbus clouds here and some water on the ground. It has been raining quite a bit even after the worst of those storms pass through. It is a touch cooler though. We're in the upper 60s. It feels like we're in the upper 60s. Humidity has dropped just a smidge as well. It's not perfect, but it's better. I think anything is better at this point, right? Overnight, our lows drop into the low 60s. A couple spots like the mountains end up in the upper 50s. It's bearable, but it is still again a touch humid humid, but it's better. I'll take better. I don't know about you. As for tomorrow, though, not too much better. We are starting out OK, but once again, we're looking at another round of showers and storms, and I will say this and I will repeat it until it changes. If it changes, it doesn't look nearly as bad as what we saw today and yesterday. So you can see this is as we move to midday tomorrow, just after noon, we're looking at a couple of cells in our southern tier in Susquehanna Valley. Then a little bit later in the evening, some more drifting into the northern tier. Again, this is just one of our models. This is one of the ones that I like to use specifically. I think it demonstrates pretty well the pattern that we're looking at. Not a widespread area of rain, but some of those cells that could have some pretty impressive downpours as well as some rumbles of thunder. Now, by the time we move into Friday morning, things look a bit better. So, I mean, we got to take the good with the bad, right? We do have a nice end to the week, but we do have to get through tomorrow first. And when it comes to our severe storm outlook, we're looking at this pale green area. That's just a couple of thunderstorms, nothing too crazy. The only spot if we get severe weather that is really a concern is this marginal chance right here, this green strip. So that's what we're looking at when it comes to the potential for some severe weather. We'll keep you posted. You stick right here with us. But a little recap overnight tonight, we're in the low 60s. The mountains are in the upper 50s. A couple of showers left over, even a rumble of thunder here and there. But overall, it's OK. Tomorrow, we're in the upper 70s. We see a decent morning, but then some showers, then a few storms later in the late afternoon and evening. Doesn't look severe again at this point, but if anything changes, we will let you know. As for the next couple of days afterwards, we finally get that sweet reward of sunshine without precipitation on Friday. We could see a shower scattered here and there on Saturday, but still a little sun. Same thing Sunday, a little cloudier, but not too bad. Monday, Tuesday, back to some more sunshine before a few showers on Wednesday. Download the Eyewitness Weather app. It is the easiest way to take our forecast with you on the go. And let me tell you, my friends, after these last two days, it's just the perfect way to use it if you're not here in front of the TV, if you have to go down to the basement for warnings and stuff like that, which I mean, Candace, we've seen a ton of that the last few days. It has been a bit of a rough 24 hours when it comes to it. It has been at times a little bit scary, but you know, I'm glad that we've got all the tools here at hand. You guys keeping us informed and then in, if you need to grab that app and go. I'm obsessed with the app when there's bad weather because I, I like too. to see the blob <laughs> like how close it gets to my location, wherever my location is, especially if we're camping or something. Right, it's, and that's so important. helpful. I have to tell you, when I'm not here in the studio looking at my computer, I use it all the time at yeah. home. You know, it's just, it's useful to see it in the palm of your hand. Totally is. Thanks, Christina. USS New York sent out a special message.